all of a sudden we found ourselves in a situation where we've become distanced from the people that we typically see face to face regularly. For a lot of us, that means that we've had to switch to video communications to run our businesses, get work done and maintain some semblance of social interaction. Whether you're using Zoom, go to webinar, WebEx, or some other form of video communication tool, better audio is better for everyone. Uh, I've had the benefit of researching and owning a number of different audio options for video over the last few years, and I'm sharing my tips and recommended tools for getting better audio in a world of remote work and communication. I'll cover tips and tools for both computers as well as for smartphones. And I've also put time codes for each section so you can skip ahead to the section you're interested in without having to watch the video in its entirety. Big disclaimer, I've listed the tools that I recommend in the description below with links to the Amazon listing for each. If you decide to buy any of them, I hope you'll do so using these links. You don't pay a single cent extra for whatever you buy and you'll help me find the time to make more of these informational videos. Now, tip number one. Get closer to the microphone on your computer or phone. This is a very simple one, it's free. Uh, and I'm gonna simplify this explanation significantly. But the volume of your voice follows the inverse square law, which simply means that the volume of your voice drops off precipitously the further away you get from the microphone. To provide high quality audio for the person or people you're talking to, get closer to the mic on your computer or phone. Free again, and makes a huge difference. Tip number two. Use a headset. Anyone with a modern smartphone should already own a headset, which provides good sound quality on your phone. You can also use a USB headset on your computer, which provides the added benefit of preventing dreaded feedback or echo that you might hear during a video meeting. Uh, AirPods are also an option for smartphone users, but even though they're convenient and a lot of people already own them, the audio quality is limited. Tip number three. Use a lavalier. Now, if you're not familiar with a lavalier, it's uh, something uh, that a lot of people also refer to as a wireless microphone. So if you're using your phone to do video communications, you can either use your headset or you can use this lavalier microphone. Um, it helps you get better sound from your phone. Please note something very important though. Uh, most lavalier microphones have a connector that's called a TRS connector. You can identify it by looking at the connector uh, and looking for the number of rings, the black rings that are on the connector. A TRS connector has two rings, and at least on iPhones, uh, and I'm pretty sure a lot of other smartphones as well, it will not work. You need to find a lavalier that has a TRRS connector. That's the one with three black rings on the connector. Fortunately for iPhone owners, they'll work with your iPhone using the Apple supplied lightning adapter that ships with your iPhone too. Tip number four. Use a USB microphone. Lots of companies make great USB microphones. Um, this is one that I own and use. Uh, it's from a company called Samson, and it's called the Samson Go Mic Portable USB Condenser Microphone. Yeah, that's a that's a mouthful. Uh, it's relatively inexpensive. Uh, it's good quality and uh, clips to your laptop or to you know, your monitor, and it does a great job of transforming that beautiful voice of yours into digital signals that then get transmitted to whoever's on the other side and lets them hear you clearly. Other companies such as Blue make great USB microphones and I don't own any Blue mics. I have had the opportunity, and I have had the opportunity to use them in the past and I can attest to their quality. I've also listed an Audio-Technica microphone that I own and like, uh, it, but that's currently stuck in my studio a few miles away and I cannot retrieve it at the moment. Tip number five. A high quality microphone with an XLR output and a USB audio interface. Now this is the most complicated setup of all the ones that I'm talking about and it's the setup that I personally use for video meetings just because I already own it. Um, it's the one that I'm using right now. Truth be told, it's, it's overkill for most people. But I will say this, if you run a business and want to start a podcast or make a, more videos or audio recording for uh, as part of uh, a larger part of how you communicate with your potential existing customers and do marketing, then it's a worthwhile setup to invest in. Uh, you'll need a few things. First, the microphone. This is one that I love. Um, it is the Stellar X2 condenser microphone uh, and makes my voice sound like butter. Uh, I've also listed a couple of other options below. Um, the options really are mind-boggling and you can spend as little or as much as you want, but this Stellar X2 is an incredible option at this price point. For the sake of simplicity, I've only listed one type of microphone 
called a condenser microphone in my recommendations below. Uh, you'll need uh, a USB audio interface next. Now it does two things. One, it helps to power the condenser microphone with something called phantom power, and it transforms the electrical signals from the microphone into digital signals that your computer understands. Uh, I know that's a little bit uh, confusing for some people, but uh, just understand that electrical signals that come from a typical microphone cannot be understood by your computer, so you'll need that USB audio interface. You'll also need a stand of some sort or a scissor boom, such as the one that this microphone is mounted to, to hold your microphone, and an XLR cable to connect your microphone to the audio interface. Uh, number six, wireless audio. Now, there are times and situations when you simply cannot use any of the aforementioned solutions. Yoga instructors, gym instructors, uh, teachers, people who are standing at a distance from their computer or from their smartphone, for instance, need to be untethered. Thankfully, there are some wireless audio options out there and they, they don't cost too much. I own this one, and a, which works uh, only with USB. So you plug this end into your computer uh, and then you carry this around on your body somewhere. And then um, this, this one has a, uh, you know, a microphone that's, that you attached uh, over your head or over your ears rather. And if you're, so it works great if you're only using a computer to do your video sessions. And really, if you're only using a computer to do video sessions, then I recommend saving the money and buying that combo. Uh, it's called the Samsung XPD2. If you decide that you want more flexibility though, and know that you're using both your smartphone and your computer to do video sessions, then you'll want to get this other combination. This is the Samsung Go Mic Mobile. Uh, there is a transmitter portion, uh, and there's the la lavalier microphone that attaches to the transmitter, and a receiver. And the cool thing about this is that you can connect the receiver to a, um, a bunch of different devices. You can attach it to your smartphone. Uh, it comes with a lightning adapter. You can attach it to your computer using the USB cable. Uh, and if you have some other phone that accepts some sort of 3.5 millimeter uh, audio input, then you can also plug it in using the, the included three and a half millimeter cable. Uh, if you're using a, a regular camera, for instance, uh, that, that has a three and a half millimeter audio jack, then you can also use this device. So there you have it. There are a bunch of different options ranging in uh, complexity and cost. Uh, some are going to suit your purposes and, and, and needs more than others. In, in case I haven't made myself clear enough, please feel free to re leave a question in the comment section below and I will try to get you an answer as soon as I can. Please consider buying any of the items that I've made recommendations for using one of the links below. Again, it doesn't cost you anything extra, uh, but you help me to um, continue making these videos. I hope you found this useful and um, again, any questions, leave them in the comment section below. Thank you.